Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is DBR Schmidt, this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Vertigo. What do you know about this movie? This is a Hitchcock film. Yes. That's all I got. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually about Vertigo or if that's just the name of the movie, but I don't know anything about this either. We've watched a handful of Alfred Hitchcock movies on our channel. This is like the third or fourth, I think. I think so. We did Psycho, North by Northwest, and Rear Window. Yeah. Okay. So this would be our fourth. I do feel like in my older age, I've developed like vertigo. Your older age? <laughs> I used to, when I was a kid, I used to love like roller coasters, big heights, no problem. I can't handle any of that. Like I get on a chair and I'm like, I got to get down or else my life is over. If this movie is about vertigo, it might be similar to like arachnophobia where I hate spiders. It probably goes spiders and then heights. Hopefully it's not about, <laughs> about heights, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, it's Alfred Hitchcock and it's supposed to be one of his uh, better films. Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, this seems to definitely be a popular recommendation for Hitchcock. So excited to see what this is about. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. We have James Stewart back. I think that was Rear Window. Yep. Pretty intense start so far. Mm -hmm. I think it is actually about vertigo. About vertigo? I actually experienced a decent amount of vertigo while pregnant. So hopefully I don't throw up. <laughs> we got a chase. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it is vertigo. He doesn't have a good place to grip on either. Oh, what? What a start. Damn, so he cost them the suspect and got his partner killed. Of course it comes off tomorrow. We are free. A free man. They're ready to come off? I know, right? If he's still in pain. She was a bright young lawyer that decided he was going to be chief of police someday. Lawyer to cop? Well, it's because of this fear of heights I have, this acrophobia. It's just... It wasn't your fault. Oh, I think it was heavily his fault. Why don't you go away for a while? You mean to forget? Oh, no, Midge, don't be so motherly. She seems super supportive. <laughs> Works on the principle of the cantilever bridge. Jeez. An aircraft engineer down the peninsula designed it. How does that stay on? <laughs> I asked my doctor. He said that only another emotional shock could do it and probably wouldn't. Interesting. I think if I can get used to heights just a little bit at a time. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna fucking fall. I look down. I look up. I oh, think there's kidding. nothing to it. You didn't really look down. Oh, who's that? We're right there. Why is he so close to the window? I know, he's going out that window. <laughs> I look up. I look down. Oh! Down you go. Oh, John. John. Yeah, maybe don't look out tall windows. Yeah. How long have you been back? Almost a year. Is this the guy who called him randomly? I'm a retired detective and you're on the shipbuilding business. Nice and caught up. Oh, what's in your mind, Gavin? Gavin, yeah, right? Yeah. I want you to follow my wife. No, it's not that. <laughs> I'm afraid some harm may come to it. Someone dead? Huh. Well, I'd say take her to the nearest psychiatrist. Or church. I'm not making it up. I wouldn't know how. Dang. So his wife is just possessed? Doesn't even know she's been away. Can't tell me where or when. So he's not actually talked to somebody else. I want to know more before committing her to that kind of care. Well, I'm sure. We're going to an opening of the opera tonight. We're dining at Ernie's first. You can see her there. Does he know her before she changed? Like, will he know the differences? Or has he ever even met her? I don't know if he's met her, but it seems that it's kind of obvious that she just, like, disappears. Maybe she's just on drugs. 
So much color. Mm -hmm. Is he going to fall in love with her? Well, I guess he probably doesn't know her or he wouldn't really be able to follow her. True. Can't really be discreet. No. Okay, just like a back entrance to a store. Cool shot. Yeah. This is already one of the most like colorful movies <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> that Technicolor. The mission? Yeah, I think so. So she's bringing the flowers to a mission. Maybe there's a cemetery attached. You're right about the cemetery. See who she's mourning. She didn't leave the flowers though. No. She's gotta go see what's on the tombstone, but then not lose her. Car Carlota? What is it? Carlota. Something. B. I couldn't tell those dates either. My mind was just like not working. <laughs> I wonder if she's just noticed him this whole time. Like, I was thinking that. She's just gonna walk up and be like, what do you want? Oh, it's the same flowers. Does she think she's this person in this painting? Yeah, find out the name of the painting. Who's the woman in the painting she's looking at? Oh, that's Carlotta. Carlotta. Portrait of Carlotta. May I have it? Yes. Thank you. Interesting. A deep connection. Maybe when she was like sitting at the bridge or something, that was a different picture, different person. Maybe she like fantasizes about being different people in different pictures or something. We also went with like 10 minutes of the movie with just one dialogue scene. True. Looks like the psycho house. <laughs> I think it's a hotel. Well, our clients are entitled to their privacy, you know? And, and I do believe it's against the law. <laughs> think any of them would mind, really, but still. I... Does he still have his badge? Yup. Miss Valdez. Spanish, you know? Carlotta Valdez? Yeah, that's it. Wow. Carlotta Valdez. She hasn't been here today. I just saw her come in five minutes ago. She hasn't been here at all. What? Been right here all the time putting olive oil on my rubber plant leaf. So then who the hell's in the room? Well, would you please go up and look? But it does seem silly. Thank you. Does he seeing a ghost now? Yeah, does she not exist? Check if her car's still there. Well, she bought the flowers, so she interacted with someone. True. Would you like to come and look? So it is empty. Try to be a little discreet, lady. Look out the window, see if her car's there. Her car's gone. What car? Okay, the plot thickens. She's there. With the flowers. You're not a detective anymore, what's going on? You know I'm well? Who? Pop Liebel. Pop Liebel? Come on, let's go, I want you to introduce me. Get your hat. I don't need a hat. I like her. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> my drink. <laughs> the name I do not remember. A rich man, powerful man. So that hotel was built for her? Alone in the great house, walking the streets alone, the mad Carlotta. Oh. Where is my child? So she lost her mind? Yeah. She died. How? By her own hand. Well, thank you very much. You have a go. That's so dark in here. It did. Goodbye, Pop. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. So did his friend marry a ghost or is this an ancestor? Of... Is she the child? Yeah, I don't I don't know how long ago it was. So either she's the child or the child child or the beautiful mad Carlotta's come back from the dead and taking possession of Elster's wife. Oh come on. Well I'm not telling you what I think, I'm telling you what he thinks. Well what do you think? I mean she disappeared on you. The things you didn't tell me. You know where she'd lead you. Well, you knew about this. Oh yeah. Jewelry that belonged to Carlotta. She inherited them. Oh, the necklace? They wore them, they were 12 fashioned. Until now. 
She inherited them. Puts them on and stares at herself in the mirror. Your wife's grandmother? Great-grandmother. Okay. Now the child who was taken from her is Madeline's grandmother. The McKittrick Hotel is the old Valdez home. So you knew the whole story. <laughs> her grandmother went insane, took her own life. Her blood is in Madeline. Afraid that she's going to go insane? I guess. She kind of did. I like how he did all of his like detective work. And the guy's like, yeah, I know everything. <laughs> Plus more. wonder if he'll try to interact with her. If he's like, Carlotta. Yeah. See if she turns around. She does the same thing every day. I would stay outside of the hospital, of the hotel this time. Oh, to see her leave? Yeah, I want to see how quickly she gets in and out. This is new, right? Yeah. Dang. When did we lose such vibrant color in movies? Did they say how any of them took their own life? No. Was it jumping into the water? Oh! God damn it. <laughs> damn, she already got knocked out? It's like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I was gonna say, did he not take her to the hospital? Yeah, did he take her home? I mean, I guess her husband was pretty clear that he didn't want, like, doctors involved. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a stranger. Oh, you uh, you want this? I mean, he already got the full show. Unless Midge did it. Maybe. Fell into the bay and you fished me out. That's right. I wonder if this is Madeline? Like, did that shock kind of wake her out of this? I had a dizzy spell and fainted. Where were you? At Old Fort Point. Okay. You're terribly direct in your questions. Didn't mean to be rude. You're merely direct. And what were you doing there at Old Fort Point? Oh. Uh, wandering about. I'd been to the Palace of the Legion of Honor. It's a lovely spot, isn't it? Never been inside, but... Is that where she goes all of the time? Yeah. My name is Madeline Astor. My name's John Ferguson. It's a good, strong name. Your friends call you John or Jack? Old friends call me John. Acquaintances call me Scotty. Yeah, right? I was like, people have been calling him Scotty and John. I've never fallen into San Francisco Bay. Have you ever before? No. So things are escalating for her? Here, I'll get some more coffee. She's literally your friend's wife. Madeline is 26. Carlotta Valdez committed suicide when she was 26. Uh-oh. Just hold on a minute, Gavin. And she's gone. Got dressed quick. <gasps> Mage. Follow her. <laughs> well now, Johnny O. Was it a ghost? Was it fun? Wasn't like that, Midge. She gonna notice him this time? Probably not. I think she just like zones out so hard. Yeah, I was gonna say, and she's also not Madeline anymore. She trying to lose him? Is this by the flower shop though? I don't think so. Seems like she's just driving around randomly. Isn't this his place? Yeah. Little thank you note? So it is Madeline then. Right now, I guess. A formal thank you note and a great big apology. The whole thing must have been so embarrassing for you. Not at all. I enjoyed it. I bet you did. I hope we will too. What? Meet again sometime. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he bangs Carlotta. <laughs> Only one is a wanderer. Two together are always going somewhere. Okay. It's a date. I feel like maybe he should have mentioned how Carlotta went, but maybe I guess it doesn't matter. Like how she took her life? Their true name is Sequoia Sempaviron. Always green, ever living. Better life knowing I have to die. Knowing you have to die? Everyone has to die? Yeah, but that's <laughs> just a really weird way to say that. Here I was born. And there I died. You took no notice. Okay. That's creepy. 
Did she go from Madeline to Carlotta? Oh. I think so. I mean, she just said she died, so. And the tree was cut in 1930. I don't think you should lose sight of her, dude. She's already disappeared on you once. Get me away from here. Somewhere in the light, be something promise you won't ask me again. Please promise me that. It sounded kind of like she was having like an internal conversation there, right? Yeah. Should she be like schizophrenic? Yeah, don't go near water. Madeline. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. There's someone within me and she says I must die. Okay. Still with me. All the time. How's he gonna explain that to his friend? So Madeline definitely does not want to die. No, but she said something inside of her is like... You have to. I'm going back to my first love, painting. But I'm really excited about this. You want to see? Uh oh, is it... Madeline? Oh. That's so creepy. Oh, it's not funny, Mitch. Johnny, I just thought... Uh-uh. Was that supposed to be a joke or was she coming on to him? Marjorie, what do you fool? Idiot! I thought it was a joke, but stupid, stupid, stupid. Dang. Now I feel like maybe it wasn't a joke. I mean, they were engaged at some point. She probably saw him. Well, she did see him with uh, Madeline. Maybe made her a little jealous. Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened. But now she's going to go off the deep end. And he's sleeping with his friend's wife. Well, they just kissed. <laughs> That's what we saw. Dream came back again. No, no. It's gonna be all right. Here, I'll give some brandy. Yeah, it's like medicine. <laughs> Brandy's like medicine? An old wooden hotel from the old California days? Yes. It's all there. Figured it out? You've been there before. You've seen it. Yeah, so it's all the places she goes? Don't you see you've given me something to work on now? Okay. So, so this... he thinks if she's Madeline and sees... All mission. these things from her dreams that it'll like disassociate. Yeah. So this is a different mission than the one she went to before where Carlotta's grave is, I believe. Right. I was going to say maybe she had been there before because the husband said there was oh. 95 miles, but yeah. I wouldn't get her back. No. Now, Madeline, think of when you were here. There were horses in the stalls. Oh... So these aren't her memories of being there. No, they're Carlotta's. We were forbidden to play here. Madeline, try. I don't think it's Madeline anymore. Look, let me go, please, no, let me go! I loved you and I wanted to go on loving you. Let me go into the church, alone. Why? I wouldn't leave her alone. Oh, no. Madeline. Hurry up! Madeline! Gotta overcome your vertigo to save Madeline. They said that he needed a an emotional traumatic event. Oh, you gotta stop hurt. looking down. Oh fuck. I cannot believe he didn't get her. Yeah, what? How the fuck do you explain this to your friend? Or the nuns that are coming. It looks like you pushed her. Or the police, or... That's not that far of a fall. Is she dead dead? Two stories? Oh, wow. It's a great angle. Or I guess it's a painting, maybe? I think she's dead dead if there's all this cops and everything. He did not remain at the scene of the death. He left. Dude. Back in his own apartment in San Francisco several hours later. He went all the way home? He once again allowed someone to die. He could not face the tragic result of his own weakness. This guy's brutal. He's more yeah. brutal than me. It is a matter between him and his own conscience. You should have no difficulty in reaching your verdict, gentlemen. Uh, Damn. <laughs> uh, guilty. Yeah, they're not even going to go deliberate. <laughs> We've reached a verdict. Thank you. What an efficient court. Jury finds that Madeline Elster committed suicide while of unsound mind. Dismissed. Oh. Sorry, Scotty, that was rough. You had no right to speak to you like that. Sorry, Scotty? 
Shouldn't have got you involved. No, there's nothing you have to say to me. What a nice friend. Goodbye, Scotty. Dang. Anything I can do for you before I go? You're the one who lost your wife. There's no way for them to understand. You and I know who killed Madeline. Carlotta. I thought he was going to tear him a new one. Yeah, I'm... I feel really bad for him. The husband? Yeah. Yeah, he lost his wife. And he tried to help her by hiring this guy. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, the grave. Oh, man, now it's you falling? Man, that whole little sequence gave me chills. Yes. That was just like a great horror vibe. Johnny, please try. Try, Johnny. I think the roles are reversed now. How long is it going to take you to pull him out of this? Well, it's hard to say. At least six months, perhaps a year. What? He was in love with her. It does complicate the problem, doesn't it? I can give you another complication. He still is. I don't think Mozart's going to help at all. Oh. Yeah, I feel bad for Midge. That was such a sad walk. Oh, he's out. Where'd you get this car? Oh. oh. I bought it from him when he moved away. Oh, you knew him and his wife, the poor thing. Nosy lady. Right. Close. Just keep seeing her. Is that the same actress or did they just really find a bunch of women that look just like her? No, I think they, it's her and then like it switches to not her. Now he's just a stalker. Those are really low windows. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, that looks like such a dangerous window. I'm like, what is your plan here? No idea. Who are you? My name's John Ferguson. Follow me right into the hotel and up to my room. Listen, I'm gonna yell in well, a listen, minute. I, I, <laughs> I remind you someone you used to be madly in love with, but then she ditched you for another guy. Not really. You, you, you can leave the door open. I just want to talk to you. Well, I warn you, I can yell awful loud. <laughs> I, I like this new Madeline. You don't look very much like Jack the Ripper. <laughs> my name is Judy Barton. I come from Salina, Kansas. You want to check my thumbprint? You're satisfied? <laughs> Do I really look like her? I mean, you are her. Well, this one I'm not sure now. What do you mean? Is this the same actress? Hey, oh, yeah, it's for sure the same actress. Will you have dinner with me? I owe you something after all this. Uh, you don't owe me anything. Well, then will you for me? Does I remind you of her? Because I'd like to have dinner with you. Okay. How can she look that much different? You think she looks different? Yeah. Why is she dreaming of the tower? Oh! What the fuck? This is a huge development. Who is that? They just threw a random body off yeah, the- That I got. Who was the man? Her husband. Oh, that was her husband? Yeah, that's why he was so cool with the guy. But then she ran away and changed her hair? Well, she's still in San Francisco and changed her hair. The husband must have forced her to do something for like money or something like that. Oh, I guess the husband ran away. Yeah, he went to Europe. Yeah. So they faked her death, probably cashed in on something. And then he left. No wonder he was happy that his friend let her die. This is the moment that I dreaded and hoped for, wondering what I would say and do if I ever saw you again. Should have left San Francisco. I was the tool and you were the victim of Gavin Elster's plan to murder his wife, invented to make you testify that Madeline wanted to kill herself. What? If I had the nerve, I'd stay and lie, hoping that I could make you love me again. I think he very much loves you. I don't know whether I have the nerve to try. So this is who she really is. The, just some girl from Kansas. Yeah. Yeah. The rando. The rando person. That he killed was not. It was his actual wife. His actual wife did die. He just wanted to kill his wife. <laughs> oh, she changed her mind? I mean, she's concerned about Scotty not loving her. Scotty would immediately forgive her. So he was totally in the clear to be sleeping with her. Yes. <laughs> he did not know that. <laughs> 
So she didn't run. I mean, she went to dinner. Is she going to give him that note? I don't think so. Is she going to leave it for him? She didn't have like a birthmark or something. You can cross reference. Well, now she has a mark on her face, like a beauty mark. What do you mean? Like a mole? Didn't she already have that? Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah. Did she? Yeah. I think she just went from blonde hair to like reddish hair. Let me take care of you, Judy. Thanks very much, but no thanks. See a lot of each other? Does that remind you of her? Not very complimentary. Just be with him. Your other guy's already in Europe. Could phone the store in the morning. It's some excuse. Why are you leaving? She just agreed. He said for the morning. See you in the morning. Oh, okay. This is in San Francisco? <laughs> now we get this and then we'll buy you those clothes. This is so crazy how this relationship is like the foundation of this relationship though. Scotty, what are you doing? I'm trying to buy you a suit. I love the second one she wore. There's none of them right. You're looking for the suit that she wore for me. When she died? I just want you to look nice. I know the kind of a suit that look well on you. No, I won't do it. I mean, this would be a normal reaction. Yeah. If you weren't the same person. Here we are. He's yes, so fucking it. creepy. I thought so. Like it. No, we'll take it. May we have it by tonight? Scotty. <laughs> I certainly do know what you want, sir. What's her real name? Judy? I feel bad for her. She had to play someone else for the first husband, and now she has to play the person she was playing for this guy. Yeah. I wish you'd leave me alone. I, I want to go away. This, these past few days have been the first happy days I've known in a year. I know. To say the truth. The color of your hair. Oh, no. He's psychotic. Judy, please, it can't matter to you. What? <laughs> Just change everything for me. I let you change me, will it do it? Will you love me? Yes. Then I'll do it. I mean, she's got to feel bad that she tricked this guy into thinking that he had someone essentially killed. But yeah, but... <laughs> this is insane behavior. You're sure about the color of the hair? Oh, yes, it's an easy color. And all the rest of the... Yes, sir, we know what you want. This poor girl. Obviously, Judy's doing this because she feels bad, and she loves him, and she's afraid of telling him the truth. But also, maybe he's doing this similar to the tactic he was trying to use in the first place, like, get all the way to the beginning so that it can kind of, like, snap you out of things. Here she is. I can't believe how different she looks with just blonde hair. <laughs> I should be back from your face and pinned at the neck. I told her that. I told you that. I feel like he's going to start calling her Madeline. Probably. Have her like legally change her name to Madeline. Now she looks like a ghost. Are they? Yeah, what the fuck was that transition? This is cool. Like me? Mm -hmm. As long as you look exactly like how he wants. I'm gonna have one of those big beautiful steaks. Let me see. Oh! The necklace! Help me with this, will you? Did she get to keep the necklace as part of the deal? All I've gotta do is find my lipstick. Where I put it? I had it a minute ago. We could drive down the peninsula. All right. Good luck. You're going back to the... To the mission? Yeah. We're going awfully far. Yeah, for dinner? You terribly hungry? No. But it's all right. You literally said you were hungry in the room. <laughs> One final thing I have to do. I get the vibe like he's going to push her. <laughs> Or do you think he's going to make her reenact it so he can save her? That's great. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> You're like, just shoving her out. <laughs> yeah. I'll kill you for real this time. I have to go back into the past once more. I don't want to go. I'd rather oh, wait. Oh, I need you. I need you to be Madeline for a while. You've needed that for like the last quarter of the movie. You're my second chance. Take me away. Go up the stairs. No. Go up the stairs. Does he know that this is Madeline, or does he still think it's Judy? No, I feel like he put together that they're the same person now. Can you do it this time? It was as far as I could get, but you went on. You remember? The necklace, Madeline. Yep. Going up the tower, Madeline. You can't, you're afraid! What'd he say? We'll see, this is my second She chance. said, you can't, you're afraid. 
You were the counterfeit, weren't you? Was she dead or alive? Daddy, when you... Daddy's broken her neck. He's broken her neck. Oh, she was already dead. Yeah, he killed her and then threw her off. You played the wife very well, Judy. Jumped into the bay. And... I bet you're a wonderful swimmer, aren't you? <laughs> Probably. You were a very apt pupil. So why did you pick on me? You did the same thing to her before you knew she was Madeline. I was a maid to our witness. I was... He cured? Yeah, you made it all the way to the top. Congratulations. We're going up and look at the scene of the crime. Come on, Judy. Maybe I'm going back to my original idea that he's going to chuck her off. And he knew it was safe. He knew you couldn't talk. Did he give you anything? A necklace. You shouldn't keep souvenirs of a killing. Keep me safe. Please. It's too late. No. I heard voices. <laughs> What the fuck? Did she fall? What the f <laughs> What the fuck was that? All right, that was Vertigo. What'd you think? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was so wild. <laughs> Um, no, in all honesty, I thought that was great, but it just took so many turns. I, I mean, <laughs> mostly one major turn. I mean, kind of, but <laughs> I mean, we should have known better considering this is a Hitchcock film, that there would be some elements of like shock value and of course mystery, a little tiny bit of horror yeah. um, thrown in. I guess I was thinking from the beginning that we were getting like more of this like detective and it was like almost like a supernatural element. This movie like shifted genres pretty seamlessly. Yes. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean like the first half of this movie, it's this like uh, detective supernatural thing where you're like, man, is this really about like a woman being possessed? Like I genuinely thought maybe possession or ghosts or like I was totally in the zone for it to get like into this crazy mystical, you know, atmosphere. No, <laughs> it was not that at all. Yeah, no, I mean, the story in this was just absolutely wild. Um, I feel like it was so clever, but also like really sad. <laughs> I was gonna say this movie was dark and sad and like really thinking about it, everyone's kind of a piece of shit or crazy. Yes. Like obviously the husband, the original husband, piece of shit and super evil. Yeah, I mean, he essentially had her killed so that he could just be taking over the company and all the money. Right. And everything that her dad left her. So he totally just wanted to kill his wife and get all the rewards for it. Yep. And his plan brought in this girl, Judy, I think is her actual name. Yeah. And she's kind of a piece of shit because she went along with it to cover up and murder someone essentially and to trick someone into kind of semi taking blame for the murder of someone else. So she was fully aware of what she was doing. And then he, our main guy, John or Scotty is also a piece of shit because before he knew anything, he thought that this was his friend's wife was totally comfortable fucking her. I don't know if it ever got to that stage, but still. And then after that, like the last 30 minutes of this movie, he was a straight psychopath. Yeah, I mean, that was, I feel like the biggest like turn of events. Obviously the twist is that she's alive. It was never her. This wasn't even his wife. Like, right. None of those things. That was a massive twist. And I was completely shocked by that. Oh yeah. But I feel like more shocking than that was watching Scotty just spiral. Yeah. And he was so obsessed with Madeline or who he thought was Madeline that he's essentially willing to take this stranger. And I mean, he followed her to her house, takes her out, but then he's like, I need you to change your clothes and your hair and the way you do your makeup and your nails and all of these things to make Madeline again. It was like every scene 
Judy was like, no, please, I don't want to do this. And he would be like, do it, do it for me. And it was like, what the, is this supposed to be romantic or something like, what the fuck is this? Obviously it's not supposed to be romantic. It, this is like, if I had to guess, I would say this is like a horror movie if I was gonna tell this to anyone. Yeah, honestly, I definitely, I felt like the romance and I, as much as I was like, oh, that's like a bummer. It's his best friend's wife or whatever. Like the connection that they had, everything, like it was, it was beautiful. And then it wasn't. <laughs> So yeah, I mean like everyone really was a, a piece of shit and then the way that it ends, he legitimately pretty much kills this girl. Judy just dies. I mean, he didn't kill her. The fact that it was like a nun who like walked in was like, hey, what's going on? And she just falls out the window. Yeah, that was shocking. At first I was like, who the hell is coming up? And I don't know why I thought like maybe it was his exter exler or whatever the friend oh Gavin. the husband yeah right i i thought it was gonna be a uh, midge oh yeah we just never saw midge again which i was super sad too like how this whole movie is either dark or sad or tragic or something like the moments between them it's like clearly there was history they were engaged at one point she had that awkward moment where she like painted herself as that picture whereas like she clearly wanted to be the like object of Scotty's desire. And then she started like pulling out her hair practically when he left. And then there was the scene in like the hospital where like she had like the saddest walk I've ever seen in my life. And then that was it. We just never saw her again. Yeah, I don't know. I loved the friendship between Midge and Scotty. I loved Midge. I thought she was great. And obviously as like Madeline's getting into the picture, I'm like, oh, well that's like, you know, his best friend's wife, so nothing's gonna happen. And right. then as stuff progresses, obviously I felt bad for Midge when she's driving by and she's like, oh. And I'm like, ah, don't worry about it, Midge. Like nothing happened. And then they literally fall in love. But the whole like painting thing was so confusing to me. Cause at first I was like, oh, it's her sense of humor. And she's like playing into this whole ghost like whatever stuff right, yeah. that was happening. And even he was like, this isn't funny and whatever. But when she started to like really lose it, I was like, oh. Oh, this was serious. Yeah, and then, but she still came back after he had like, you know, his mental breakdown. He's in the hospital. She still came back. She's trying to play him music, trying to follow what the doctors are saying. She's still there for him and trying. It's like their relationship was so good. And yeah, I just felt really bad for her. I mean, you can make an argument for feeling bad for a couple of people. I mean, you could feel bad for Scotty for obviously getting tricked with this like traumatic phobia that he has pretty much. You can feel bad for Judy because she literally died. You could feel bad for Midge. <laughs> you could feel bad for Midge uh, because clearly she had some sort of connection with Scotty and he just kind of said, hey, never mind. I like this other blonde over here. Um, no, I feel like the only person that you should truly feel bad for is the wife. Yes. <laughs> she was the innocent one in this. We just never saw her. So I never had a moment to feel bad for her, other than her limp dead body getting chucked out of a mission tower or something. <laughs> so this was just an insane movie. Like I don't, I don't even really know how to describe this to someone else because it really did feel like multiple things. I mean, we had the supernatural detective stuff. And then when he kind of was in the hospital, I thought, oh, it kind of seems like the roles are reversed. Maybe we're gonna have Midge going on this like journey to try to save Scotty or something. So you would have that, that opposite dynamic, but that didn't really turn out to be anything. We just never really saw her again. And then I thought, okay, I'm gonna give Scotty a break because he was being extra creepy for the end of this movie. I was like, he's went through something super traumatic. Maybe he's trying to break himself out of this by kind of getting her to this spot. But then he got her to be Madeline and then he just wanted to continue with that. Like if she never would have put on that necklace, I genuinely think it would have just escalated to the point where he would have been like, hey, can I call you Madeline? Can we change your name to Madeline? Like he would have just kept going because he was a psycho. Yeah, no, I agree. I think had he not figured it out with the necklace, he would have just kept pushing her until she was Madeline. And that one line was really sad with Judy when she was just like, it's fine. Like, I don't even care who I am as long as you love me or something to that extent. Yeah. And I was like, damn, girl, like. 
That's tough. Know your worth here. Yeah. Like, you are still a person. That was rough. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, literally, it's such a shocking ending to just death and then credits. It's like, man, okay, we're not feeling good or happy with anyone. No, I think the the amount of twists and turns in this film, though, was just like peak. Yeah. Um. Obviously, it kind of gave me a little bit of the elements of like Psycho a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Um. And kind of like the twisting aspects of things. Obviously, it was great to see James Stewart again after Rear Window. Um, James Stewart. I was gonna say Jimmy Stewart, but well, James Stewart. Jimmy is short for James, okay, okay. but. I think in the thing it said James. Okay. And then also you made multiple comments about like the Technicolor throughout the film. I feel like one of the biggest elements in the film was just the music. Yeah, the music was excellent, uh, especially when he would go into his like vertigo phases and it would change drastically to this different style and then come back out of it. I mean, I've said multiple times throughout the movie, it was one of the most beautiful like colors that mm -hmm. I've ever seen, especially that restaurant, like the red walls and red floors and everyone like wearing like just, I don't know, the blues and the reds and the green, like everything just popped like crazy. And I'm like, it makes me so mad that we don't see movies with this vibrant color. Maybe we do. Someone give me a like a recommendation for a modern movie that looks this colorful. But obviously it's, it's Hitchcock. So the suspense is there, the twists are there. The acting was spectacular by everyone, especially, you know, Judy playing multiple different people. I mean, even Scotty or James Stewart playing someone that like you're rooting for as a detective. And then in my opinion, he became almost like the villain at the end of the movie and something. Right. So everything was just top notch. And I mean, one of the most powerful moments there for me was his dream right after she died or something. Yes. That like whatever minute long sequence was spectacular. Yeah, no, I mean, this film just did an incredible job with everything, like all the small reveals, all of the moments, like everything, it was just executed so well. Back to the music, I mean, we talked about how there was like that tiny bit of dialogue and it was just music as he's following her for like 10, 15 minutes maybe. Yeah, I would say for all the Hitchcock movies we've seen, this movie might have like the least amount of dialogue. There were just so many sequences where there was nothing other than the music and us following around our characters. Right. I mean, yeah, because essentially we're watching Scotty follow Madeline for a good portion. Yeah. And then the other Madeline. <laughs> so I don't know. This was a wild movie. It, yeah. it had this like slow buildup in the beginning. But once you got to like the last 20, 30 minutes of this movie, it was just like, what is going on? And then it just ends with a gut punch. And then that's it. So that was crazy. Yeah. No, it was nonstop at the end of the film. I honestly, like, I feel like I should be slightly embarrassed, but I'm also just gonna stand behind the fact that I cannot believe that that woman looked so different with, with two different <laughs> hair colors and styles. Like, I literally, we watched her, like, from scene to scene, come in with blonde hair. Right. And I still did not believe that that was the same person. Yeah, no, the first time we saw her, like, walking down the street, I was like, damn, they got an actress that looked just like her. And I was like, no, it is her. Well, I said it is because earlier we were seeing like glimpses of her like, and it was changing. Right, yeah. So I thought that was going to happen again. And then I just got confused. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that was that was crazy. I feel like because it has so many different like themes and genres or whatever you want to say to it, you can pull out like inspiration from so many different moments. Yeah. But this was a wild ride and I'm super glad that we added it to the list of Hitchcock movies that we've seen. Yeah, absolutely. I would say it's definitely up there in my favorites for Hitchcock. Oh, wow. Okay. Is North by Northwest or South by, what, what is it? North by Northwest. Is, was that Hitchcock too? Right? Yes, okay. Was. I think that one's my favorite potentially. Yeah. I don't, I loved, obviously Psycho is, seems like it should be in like a league of its own type of thing. Yeah. But then like you have rear window too like i feel like we had so much fun rear windows excellent i mean watching it's, that i think depending on the day you could put any at least of the ones that we've seen so far you could put anyone on the top i feel like though this is up there in my also like all-time favorite movie like top 10 i think in general or hitchcock yeah. In general. Oh, wow. You liked it that well, much? Top 10, obviously, for Hitchcock. We've seen four Hitchcock films. <laughs> so automatically top five. 
this is something that I would really enjoy rewatching. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you would pick up a lot of like different things. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this was crazy. I had so much fun with it. And I think that's something that's so common with a lot of these films that we've seen, especially older ones. They're just excellently crafted. Yeah. So this was great. Yeah. So really appreciate everyone that's been recommending this to us. We've pretty much enjoyed every Hitchcock film we've seen. Yeah. Um, so let us know what we should watch next in terms of Hitchcock, but I'm so glad that we watched this one. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.